Here's your burger thing, baby. Thank you, Han. Yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> you too. Not even 10 seconds in and the cringe is off the charts. I've seen better acting in adult movies. Well, hello guys. I'm gonna have my lunch here. I'm having BK today. I think for Foodie Beauty, I really think that her husband just kind of pays her off with food so he doesn't have to like communicate with her or be around her, which sounds really, really sad to say, but I honestly think that is what's happening here. For somebody like Foodie Beauty who does enjoy food, I mean, she did get, she got two different orders here for, for the sides, right? She got the fries and, and she got the onion rings on the side. You have to order two of these at mi or bare minimum. They're not throwing two in, okay? You have to order a small fry or a small onion ring or both. Obviously, she got both, but they're not throwing them in. And maybe every once in a while when you get your fries, you might get a little onion ring on the side because like they usually cook them in the same vats like side by side. So like you might get a little bit of some extra on that side, but for like the most part, you're gonna have to order that. So for somebody like Foodie Beauty, Who's sitting here eating this and by the way like i said i truly do believe that salah is just sitting there buying her food so he doesn't have to actually do anything with her and he can just go into his room and text those girls and tell them how much he wants to poop on their chest which in my opinion is fine i know there are going to be a lot of people out there going david that's gross i know it's gross okay most sexual activities are gross don't okay maybe this one is obviously in a different caliber it obviously is it's disgusting i understand it but in general, if you're whatever you're doing behind closed doors with your girlfriend or your wife or your husband or your whatever, um, it's up to you. I mean, let's be honest here for a second. I've had women pee in my mouth and they have told me, oh, David, it's not pee. It's just me squirting. And then you look it up. You're like, oh, it is squirt, huh? And then you're just sitting there just taking it full brunt, ah, letting it marinate your tongue. And then you realize when you Google it that it's actually urine. Most of it's urine, like 90% of it. And I understand that like there's a good 10% of it that's like miracle water or whatever you want to call it. But either way, if it's 90% of whatever it is, that's like somebody going like, hey, I'm going to pay you $10 and then like the rest of the $100 is just, is just going to be coated in like straight up shit. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but like it's not that bad. It's not that good. Maybe that was a bad analogy. But the point I'm making is, it's mostly pee, and I've had girls urinating in my mouth all the time before I knew it, and then I stopped doing it because I realized what it was. And uh, hey, if you're into it, it's you know water sports or is what it is. Um, for Salah to be into having women, you know, uh, sit there and him pooping on their feet or their chest or whatever, that's up to him. There's nothing wrong with it necessarily. I mean, there is something wrong with it being a Muslim man such as himself living in the Middle East, cheating on his wife which is really crazy. In general, it's really crazy to cheat on your wife, but to do it in the Middle East, that's kind of like insane, dude. You gotta be on a different level. Um, before we get any further into the video, as you can see, I have a different background. It's the same background, I just moved everything over to the left of my room. I had a couch here before, but I realized like, what the fuck was I even doing with the couch? I didn't even use the TV anymore. There's really no purpose for it. There's gonna be something else here instead of the coach bag in the next week or two. So that's likely to change but we still have everything we still got the serpies the serp harem back there we still got davina she has a new change she has a new look but everything else is the same there might be a little bit of echo i'm gonna work on that as the weeks progress i hope you guys don't mind it for now um but anyway let's get back to the video i was severely severely craving a whopper i don't really care when people say they were craving something i know that it's okay to crave stuff. Like sometimes I'll look at my kitchen. I'm like, damn, I could really use like a muffin or I could use like, maybe I could probably body slam some high calorie donuts or something like that. But I don't really usually put a lot of value into cravings because what does that really mean for me? Nothing much besides just eating things that are probably really not good for me. And it's okay to not get your way all the time. But for Foodie Beauty, she's just going to order it. And I don't know People tell me that Salah doesn't have a job and people tell me that Foodie Beauty just gives him money for like an allowance and then Foodie Beauty, when she gives him that money, he'll just spend that money back on her, which is like, <laughs> it's like what you would do when you're like five or six years old and your mom's birthday is coming up and she gives you $5 to go to the dollar store to buy her something, but then you end up just coming back with those little green army toys that you just like play with and then you spend like maybe a dollar on like a... I don't know, like a gobble gum for her or something like that, dude. Um, listen, I was a selfish kid. What are you going to do about it? I don't know, bro. I, just, I, I, I think I did do that actually one time. And I think my mom was very severely disappointed in me. But regardless, don't do that. Your mom deserves more than those little green toys. What is she going to do with it? Probably nothing. She can't do anything with them. Like, what is she can't? She's not going to decorate that.
that shit. She's a grown woman, dude. She's got priorities in her life. Buy her something that she's going to find valuable, even for five dollars. What are you going to buy her? Cabbage, onions. I don't fucking know, dude. There's like five dollars, even though it's not a lot of money in comparison to like what it was back when I was growing up. Maybe like an umbrella. Like your mom could use an umbrella, right? An umbrella, or maybe like baggies sandwich baggies because your mom likes to work and she wants to make food on the run i don't know dude look the point i'm making is um i do think that's so i don't know if it's true though um but uh, a lot of people tell me that salah doesn't have a job and foodie beauty basically subsidizes him and in the process of doing that she subsidizes herself which is meta meta as fuck dude i'm gonna keep it a buck meta as hell and by the way foodie beauty is severely diabetic like she had like a very very high her blood sugar count was like five times or six times higher than what it should have been uh like a week ago but uh i guess she's okay now um it seems kind of crazy that she doesn't she still doesn't care given the fact that she's still eating out as much as she is and god forbid you ever say no to a craving right i couldn't True. imagine having this meal for a lunch and then do nothing all day oh no she's this is this is a factual statement that foodie nobody's eating bk a, well, a single burger is crazy, by the way. I don't know if you guys know this, but, but, but Burger King burgers are thin as fuck. It kind of looks like somebody stepped on this. Like somebody had sat on the burger itself. So if I'm going to keep it a buck, and you know I always keep it a buck, she's going to eat more than this in a day. I think Foodie Beauty real deal lies. I don't know why she does. She could be making so much more money, so much more views, if she just posted all her what I eat in a day videos. Just do a live stream of you eating eight, like live stream for 20 hours a day, okay? Because I know that's how long you're eating in a day, right? Document the whole process. How long it takes you to get the Uber, how long it takes you to put your card number in, how long it takes Salah to go to the door to get the food, because you know you're not getting up to get that food. Fuck that. And then sit there and eat the food and domestically violate your throat. It is what it is. We all know your body slamming copious amounts of calories, and it's all right. Like, I mean, it's not good, but you're doing it already. Why not document it? It doesn't matter. You're not stopping. <laughs> you might as well document it while you're doing it. Fuck it. I'd feel so sluggish. I think that it just depends on what you mean by sluggish, dude. Uh, it's I eat fast food every once in a while, dude. It does weigh you down depending on what you eat. If there's a lot of grease, if it's a lot of salt, if it's just necessarily not a good food choice, it will most definitely affect you. And a lot of times, for me personally, I feel slower when I eat certain foods. Like, uh, I don't know exactly what foods it is, but sometimes my mental capacity is severely diminished depending on the food choices that I'm getting, or they're just, it's just slowed down. Like there's a, there's a little bit of a buffer period in my thought processes. And for me personally, I hate that. Like, I feel like I don't like drugs at all. I never, I would never do drugs with the exception of the ones that would like, that were medically prescribed to me by a medical professional, but I would never do drugs. I'm, I'm completely natural right now. I'm all natural, right? I know a lot of people think that I'm on like cocaine or something like that, but I just don't, I don't use that stuff. But I'm not against any, anybody else doing that. But I know for a fact, if I was to ever do a, a particular drug, it would probably have to be some type of speed or some type of like, cocaine or, or, or some type of like drug that would push me over the edge, because I don't want things to slow me down. I have done other uh, illicit substances in the past, like weed, marijuana, it's legal in my state. Um, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't like being slowed down. I don't like being withheld from my thoughts. I just don't like that. I want something to, you know, give me a little bit of extra push, which is why I'm perpetually addicted to caffeine. And I probably overconsume in a day, but it is what it is, right? Like for me personally, I need something that's just going to keep me sustained um, at a good rapid pace throughout the entire day. For somebody like Foodie Beauty, uh, it's it's a probably just not like feasible for her. She probably doesn't even think about that. Um, because I give, I see her a lot just eating whatever the fuck she wants to do. And she's always slow, which is fine. Like not everybody needs to be like, you know, always on shit and things like that. I'm not saying I am either. I have those off days as well. But uh, if I were to do drugs, it would most definitely have to be speed of some kind, but I wouldn't do drugs, so. Extra ketchup or not? She does a lot of ketchup. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else is funny. You can ask for et extra ketchup. You know that, right? Beauty bite. Okay, spit and beauty bite. I just want to know what she means by beauty bite. Like, can somebody please tell me down below in the comment section? I hear her say this a lot, like, oh, beauty bite. And I watch the beauty bite, and it's just her literally staring blankly into the screen while she dips something and eats it. Like, this, why is that a beauty bite? I don't understand. Like, what's beautiful about that? I don't know. There's nothing on screen that I look at is beautiful, so. Excuse me, miss, but the order is still wrong. I was under the impression you say it right as it enters your mouth. She uses Bismillah like it's Bon Appetit or something. I have a mix of curly fries and regular fries. Oh, I thought those were onion rings. 
I wouldn't be surprised. But even still, I didn't even know that Burger King made curly fries, did. I, can they make two orders in one thing? I thought most establishments were against that because they want you to buy two individual purchases. So, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it's different in Kuwait. Somebody could let me know down below. But I was, I'm pretty convinced that you have to buy two separate things. But maybe Salah got a little something extra. I don't know. I mean, I've literally seen Foodie Beauty say in the past, like, oh, yeah, Salah got a whole bunch of food. But I never see him eat anything. I'm convinced that when they go out to eat, he doesn't really get shit. And then she just buys all the food and goes home and eats it. I don't even know if Salah really eats like that. I mean, I know he's in a healthy body fat percentage. Because in that one video, bro, when Salah and Foodie Beauty were swimming, they did that for like three days. Oh, man, dude. Salah has some curves. I don't know if you guys ever saw that video, bro. We reacted to it on the stream here on the channel. But... Man, dude, Salah got that dream body that a lot of women be looking for, dude. I don't know what it was, but Salah got curves. He got a lot of shape to him, bro. I mean, it's not it's not proper shape that a lot of men might want, but he kind of got that, like, you know what I'm talking about? He got a lot of some extra on the bottom, too. I, got, <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is, if I was in Salah's position, okay, if I had a body like that, I might be convinced to turn a little bit, um, I might be convinced to be a little bit suspect on certain occasions, depending on what we were talking about. Like if I was, if you got a, if you a man with a big, a thick butt, it, it just kind of seems like maybe you're missing up an opportunity if you're not letting that be uh, pleasured in a particular type of way, in my opinion. I mean, you know me personally, my butt cheeks are almost kind of like inverted. A lot of people have told me, like, I don't really have a lot, you know, it's all right. But it's nothing really, I don't got that Salah, you know? I don't really got that, 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 that ginormity that he got. But anyway. Coke Zero. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Why does she do that, bro? What is that noise she made, dude? Literally, it sounds like somebody gasping for air as they come up from the water. Like the ocean deep. Bro. Oh. God. That's crisp. I'm tired. That's why I'm like... Somebody told me, I could be wrong, because she's pretty not, she doesn't tell people a lot about this, but people have told me that she wakes up at like 4 a, four p.m. In the, in the afternoon and goes to sleep like at like 5 in the morning, dude. What, is that true? Is that really her sleep schedule? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised given the fact that everything else in her life is a fucking mess. I mean, she's literally married to a dude that cheated on her and she's like okay with it. But I mean, it's her relationship. It's her relationship. She could totally whatever she wants to do. I mean, I wouldn't be what personally speaking. I would not be with an individual that cheated on me with one of my own fans. And then also that person, not only did they cheat on you, but they were saying some crazy shit. Like they wanted to take a shit on that person. I don't know. Personally, I, I don't think I would be into that. Gaul, I can guarantee you this meal won't make you feel any better. You can't keep brushing your diabetes under the rug forever. True. But that's the only thing is shit. Brushing the diabetes under the fucking the rug are the only thing she's brushing, dude. I don't know what happened with her teeth. Them things are getting brown, dude. She got to do that oil pulling. Look, guys, okay? Somebody bought me this. My birthday's coming up. I didn't ask for this, but somebody bought it for me. I don't know what they were trying to imply, but I do drink a lot of coffee. I like to think my teeth are white enough, but oil pulling, right? Somebody put me onto this. Apparently, you're supposed to use it for, I guess getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff off your teeth and maybe whitening as well. So I don't know, but I've been using it and it's terrible. It's disgusting. I hate the feeling of it in my mouth, but I do it because I'm trying to get whiter teeth. For somebody like Foodie Beauty, um, her teeth have been getting progressively yellower and yellower and yellower. And I don't know if Foodie Beauty's probably taking care of that, but it, it, it's been getting worse uh, along with the, you know, the size of her fingers. I saw a TikTok video of a cat in a beret Eating a croissant, um, that made me happy. That's cool. Beauty bite. Yeah, no, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot, dude. I saw a video the other day of a cat smacking uh, another cat like 15 times, and I, that made me feel pretty good, too. But anyway, let's see this beauty bite. Damn, her mm. finger's big. I'm sorry, but the Whopper, it's unmatched. It depends on what you mean by unmatched. I mean, it's just a cheeseburger that's like overprocessed that they get in like boxes of 400. Like, I mean, I guess like, I mean, maybe the Puerto Rican guy behind the counter that made it for you really put in a lot of effort on making that one. Oh, no, she lives in Kuwait. What am I fucking talking about? You know, look, I had a friend who lived in Kuwait for a year because he was in the armed forces, right? So he was out in the desert and stuff like that. And he told me that when he was in Kuwait, he never saw an actual Kuwaiti person working 
in like the malls or anything like that. It was just all black people. Like it would just be tons of black guys. He was black himself. He's a real black guy too. And this dude told me that it was nothing but minorities working in this country. Now, I don't know. I've never been to Kuwait. I've never wanted to go to Kuwait. I didn't even know the country existed until my friend told me about it. So there's that. Um, but he had other things going on as well. You know, he saw camels and there was other things too. Like he did some illicit activities with other people that were in his dorm, a woman, woman wise, which is not something you should be doing, but he did it. He did, it. but he's a great person. He's an amazing guy. He smells really great. He's a, he's a beautiful, gorgeous man. He said there were multiple dead camels too, that just be, would just be dead in the middle of the, the desert. Just, they would just be on the floor dead. Really? There's nothing like it <laughs> in taste. I gotta move. I gotta put, still put my old groceries, some of my old groceries away. After three days, your grocery order is still in the living room. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. If you're ordering groceries, man, put that shit away instantly, dude. I don't know about you guys, but I've had pests in my life, and having loose food on the floor or anywhere else can easily be getting into by whatever animals or creatures you have in your house. Maybe she doesn't have that problem. I don't know if she still has those camels about, the ones that spit in her mouth. Those ones might be coming back for a little bit of some extra. I mean, you're not, oh, let's be, let's be honest here for a second. You're not going to be spitting in just anybody's mouth. You know, if I'm spitting in somebody's mouth, I'm basically claiming them as my own. So if she just has that food laying around, dude, that's kind of crazy. Except for watching reaction channels and reading each and every word people have to say about you online. What is it? You, you would think that Foodie Beauty would just be okay with that at this point. I could have sworn that I saw a video of her saying that she doesn't care and like she's not really going to be talking about the reaction channels and that it is what it is. Like people can do whatever they want with her shit. And as long as it's transformative, she should be okay with it. I'm pretty sure I heard her say that in one of those videos, which I highly respected her for that because you can't really control what other people do with your stuff. It is what it is. So when I see Booty Beauty complaining and latching on to just simple things that people are saying about her, I'm always, I'm just thinking like, what are you talking about? I thought you said you had no problem with this stuff. I thought that you were pretty consistent on that claim, but I guess with everything else in her life, she's completely inconsistent with it. Like she has no, she has absolutely no back backbone to actually stand on her words on this shit. I mean, it makes sense, right? She took her husband back. Look, okay, it's her relationship. She can do whatever she wants. Um, depending on the relationship that you're in, you might put up with more stuff depending on who the, the person is. Um, marriage and all that, you know, it is what it is. You don't want to, like, break up with your husband, I guess. But even still, like, you wouldn't catch me with somebody that's cheating on me. That you do all day. You love to bring up how your husband has duties to provide and you have duties at home. So what is it exactly that you do? When, when somebody when somebody brings up what their what their partner does all day, like, oh man, my husband does this, my husband does that, it just kind of gives off desperate. It just kind of gives off like, why are you telling me this? Like, did anybody ask you whether or not your husband was a good husband or if he's doing husbandly duties like cleaning houses or walking outside and acquiring financial backing from people that employ him? Like, does anybody care? No. And the fact that you're bringing it up kind of gives it away that he's probably not doing that stuff. And it, if he is or is not, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, I don't give a fuck. If you're supporting your husband, I have no problem with that. I know a lot of people may not enjoy that. But for me, if she wants to support the house husband, that's okay. Like, it, <laughs> that's fine, dude. If she wants to be the only one that works in the household and she wants to give the money to the husband, hey, bro, women did it for like 200 years. I don't know why Salah can't do it, I suppose. You know why I'm procrastinating? Other than laziness. <laughs> it's because I need to reorganize my, my cupboards. I don't have a pantry, I have cupboards. I hate when they start getting all messy. So I gotta do that. Take the existing food out, clean it, I don't feel like I can cook in there unless everything is organized. How long does it take though? It doesn't take that long to clean a house. Like if you dedicate maybe two or three hours of your time, you could pretty much clean almost everything in your house. No joke, right? It, I don't know how much stuff you have in your house, but I have not that much stuff in my house. Like I, doing the dishes would take longer than cleaning a room in my opinion because like i mean i obviously clean my dishes thoroughly like i'm scrubbing extra extra hard i hate when you like look at a fork and you go like what is that what is that right there on there right i hate that so i always even if i had a dishwasher which i don't because i'm poor i i would still i would still wash it with hands because i i cannot stress the pain 
the absolute torment I, I have when I look at a food or I look at a, a fork or, or a plate or something and I see residue from a food that I had eaten a week before or even longer. It is the worst thing I can, it is so bad in my opinion. I'd rather suck myself off than it, 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 to, be under the torment of seeing the food residue of what was left from that from like a week ago. It's absolutely, so like when she says, oh yeah, I need to clean up all that stuff. It's not that, it, it, it doesn't take that long. I don't know why. And then, you know, like, let's look at this. Let's look at this for a second. Like, you're sitting here saying, like, you have to do all this stuff. Bro, what are you doing right now? You're just sitting down making a buck, mukbang, mukbang. I don't know how you pronounce it, but mukbang video of you body slamming. Uh, what is this? Like, a Whopper, dude? Come on. You got time. The burger charbroiled. Okay. Flame grilled. So Canada Day is coming up. Damn, that right shit is already. Corner. She has, like, one of those trays, right? Those trays that, like, fold out. I have one of those, too, over there. And I don't use it for anything besides like a nightstand. Maybe I got invested in an actual nightstand, but I don't really care about that shit. Like to be honest, like it holds all my stuff to table. It's literally what it's used for. So for me, I don't really care. But if you guys saw, there's like a little scratch in the paper where the grease is actually seeping through onto the tray. And given the fact that she's complaining about cleaning her house, I don't know how, or like not putting away her food. I don't know if whether or not she's gonna be able to wipe down this, this piece of, uh, Furniture. Corner. July 1st. For my American friends who don't know anything about Canada. You laugh at that, but I'm telling you. There are some Americans out there who think Canadians live in igloos and have pet beavers. Polar bears, not beavers. Which some probably do live in igloos. Way up north. <laughs> Way up north. Pet beaver. Damn, she's going for that shit. This table is so creaky. Yeah, and you know why? Because you're like supporting, <laughs> you're supporting so much of your weight on this fucking table, dude. What are you talking about? Of fucking course, this fucking shit is is, is is creaking, dude. Look how much weight you have to put on top of this shit. So, last, last, last thing I want to say about my video. <gasps> Still going on about that? Guess she doesn't have anything else to yeah, talk she's about. Bored, dude. Which, this is true. I saw some people complaining that I lose views because I don't allow people to voice their opinion. Um, we block people. Yup, that's true. You go out of your way to suppress engagement on your channel and videos. What? I think it's okay to block people depending on what they're saying. Like, if they're saying that you're a scrub buddy or, like, you look like, I don't know, a white Aunt Jemima or something like that, like, okay, I get it. But... Sometimes people just block people on channels just because they say something that's kind of offensive when it may not even be the intention of them being offensive. They could just be saying this stuff because they're genuinely feeling some type of way about you. Like they maybe are concerned with your health or they think that you're doing something incorrect and they want to bestow upon you the correct information because they feel like you're not doing it right. That could be it, or I don't know. Like I, I do see Foodie Beauty being a very intolerant person. She does have an inability to take criticism. When she does take criticism, um, she always backfires on it, and then she always like she admits that she's wrong. But then like a week or a week later, a week or two weeks later, she'll immediately double back down on the reason why she apologized to begin with, which is really crazy, by the way. I don't know how you could do that. First of all, if you're apologizing for something and then you double down on what you said before the apology. That not only does that mean that the, the apology is completely d mute at that point, but you're fucking dumb because you apologize for something that you weren't even apologizing for. So it just doesn't make sense to me personally. Like just if you don't know, if you don't think you're wrong, don't apologize for it. That's plain and simple. If you think somebody else is wrong, then fine. That's okay. But back it up with some evidence and don't just block people because you think that you can't. Don't just block people because you don't like what they're saying. That's just total intolerance. Do you think the algorithm thinks about that? You've been on YouTube for so many years. You should know better by now. And that's true. Yes. My res so you go elsewhere to comment or whatever. Yes. So my response to that is we only block negative negativity. Um, or Sometimes negativity can be a good thing. Like people will comment things that are accurate pieces of information that could be deemed as negative to you or me or somebody else but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad it just means that it's negative or you could you could you you could interpret it as negative there could be a lot of value in negativity drama or comments that like incite drama or How? you know like 
A hug box? No. No? Gaul, what do you think a hug box is? What is a hug box, bro? What the fuck is that? You freaking invented it. Constructive criticism, stuff like that, but is fine. But like, I want a positive environment. Yes, I want only positive people. I feel like what you put out is what you get in return. So if you want like a positive environment or a positive community, you have to understand that the reason why things are so negative or the reason why people are being so victri vitriolic or toxic is because you yourself are the ones that, that that are breeding that particular type of environment. You know what I'm talking about? Like people will flock to what to what they like. And if they want a toxic environment, they're going to go to a toxic person. So, I think it's interesting when Foodie Beauty says stuff like this because it's like I think she's actually projecting because a lot of this could be attributed to her. Like, how many videos has she done? How many times has she said things that have just been ridiculously disgusting claims that have absolutely no background in reality? And she just doubles, triples down, calls people bad, disgusting names. I will give her that her ability to trash talk is actually superb, amazing even. It's, it's great. But you can't expect people to, like, look at that and not, like, get a little bit of toxicness in there. And that's fine. But then you can't turn around and complain that your videos aren't True. being pushed as much as reaction channels when you remove almost all engagement. We... So, I mean, if that's the trade-off... Sometimes you have to... Sometimes you have to play into it. Like, if somebody says something about you... Like, here on my channel, right? I know a lot of people sit here and they go, David, you're a black queen. You're, you know, you're obviously super cultured. You're an amazing, beautiful, melanated princess. No, a lot of people here think I'm homosexual. They think I love the ingestation of male genitalias. They think that I have one love for black men, which is not true, obviously. I mean, maybe for the black men, but that's not because I'm homosexual. But I don't care. Like, if somebody said that I'm gay, I'm going to find little to no reason to, like, recoil from that because... I don't care you can think i'm gay it's completely fine like i don't care but sometimes you want to play into it a little bit like you think i'm gay i suck four dudes off yesterday like it's okay to play into it a little bit because uh, if you're just consistently fighting it and fighting it and fighting it that's what these people want like they want to that's the fuel for them like they see that it's getting to you and they see that it's like actually burning inside of you so you're adding fuel to the fire anytime you do that then i accept that that's funny it, that's fine yeah it's fine if you want to accept the fact that you're going to get less views less engagement and all this other stuff but then like a, like the person just said you can't expect to just you can't you can't then complain about that same thing the main topping three four or five hundred positive um people supportive people in my chats versus five thousand people spreading hate and insults and reinforcing that kind of negativity then that's that's fine with me <laughs> that's fine with us I'm more than happy and more than grateful. Like, people will say, well, look at Amber Lynn. She gets way more views. A lot of people go there for the comment section. She gets, like, a ton, like, thousands of comments. Yeah. But, you know, that type of negative environment, like, it just breeds more and more hate and breeds more and more... Yeah, but what you're failing to understand is, like, if they're not doing it there, they're going to do it somewhere else. And that's obvious. It's like somebody that goes oh, you can't have a gun. Do you really think that's going to stop somebody from doing something that is illegal or bad? No, nah, bro. If they have the intention to do something bad, it doesn't matter what you do to try to prohibit them from doing that. They're going to want to do it. So if you sit there and you like block ban or whatever you do, all these people that would be there commenting on you, which would be supporting you in a particular way, you're what all you're doing is like you're creating an environment somewhere else that these people are going to do it so why wouldn't you have that environment already here if you're if you're okay with it to begin with like if you're okay with it happening here why not here at least then you're going to get the uh you know the interactions you know um i don't like i find it depressing looking at her comments a lot of the time I yeah well why are you looking at her comments though what the fuck are you talking about dude what you find it depressing looking at her comments you don't have to look at the comments, you know that? Like, I get it, like, it could be very traumatizing for you, or it could be very... You can even debunk a lot of the stuff, though. If you if this stuff that they're saying is very, very untrue, it's very easy for somebody to just go through, maybe, like, do a couple videos. 
looking through the comments and go through thoroughly and debunking a few of the claims, like the biggest claims or whatever. Have a Q&A. Ask me my questions. Say what you want to say about me. And then I'll go through and I'll debunk this show. If you're right, then I'll just admit that you're right. What's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You could just have that as a, a thing. And by the way, like I said, you don't even have to read the comments. It's fine. You could just have the comments just be barren down there and just have everybody else communicating for you. That's fine too, right? I don't know why you're like choosing to hook on to the whole like, oh, it's depressing looking at Amber Lynn Reed's comments and just don't read the comments. Um, I don't like, I find it depressing looking at her comments a lot of the time. I, I just don't enjoy it. So I can't imagine anybody normal not being brought down by that vibe. And that's, I'm, I'm not looking for a negative vibe on my channel. And I know sometimes I contribute to that negative vibe. Not sometimes, dude. You're like the main reason for all, like most of the shit. By things I talk about or the mood I'm in or whatever. True. What do you mean sometimes contribute? Where do you think it's all coming yeah, from? You're at the center of it, Gaul. I, um, I prefer positivity and that's just... Everybody prefer, look, everybody prefers positivity with the exception of me. I like conflict. I like battling people. I like having back and forths and stuff like that. To me, it just feels really satisfying. Like I, I enjoy the battle, but I do like positivity, obviously, but... It's just interesting to me how she could say all this stuff as if, like, nobody else wants this shit. The difference is, like, you're just going to have to accept that there's going to be some times, some places, in some scenarios where people are not going to be positive. And that's okay because that's what life is. And sure, you have the ability to weed out the people that you deem to be um, not positive. You could easily do that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to go away. It's just going to a different area. Or it's, like, it maybe it's there just in a different format. Like, it's, like, I don't. You're not actually doing anything besides making it worse for yourself. How I like it, you know? I don't like people attacking each other in the comments. I don't like, you know, that kind of thing. So it's gotta be agonizing though to look through all those comments. Like, does she have, is she employing somebody to do that? Because she gets a lot of comments, right? And a lot of people, a lot of interactions on a daily basis. I would not be surprised if, uh, if it was like thousands of people saying the stuff. Like I said, Maybe I can rebuild an audience. Who knows? We'll see. But what odds are probably not. You could just play into it. There are there are so many things that she could do to make it better for herself uh, on the internet. But somehow she just like avoids all of it. Whatever. I'm grateful for you guys. Cool. That are here now. And thank you. You know, like thank my content. <laughs> so um, that's that. That's all I uh, have to say about that. I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna close the chapter on complaining about anything. I am actually so much happier and relieved when I can just live my life freely, you know, and not have to worry about any reactions or any whatever. You can do that, but like the thing is like if you have a, if you're making content on the internet, you have to expect that somebody somewhere or multiple somebody somewheres are not gonna like your content or they're gonna critique you or they're gonna say something you don't like. And that could just be, uh, that's just gonna be something that happens, right? Whether that be in the comment section, whether that be on a forum somewhere, whether that be on the actual platform that you're on right now and people just make reaction videos, hello. There are going to be people that are going to say mean things to you or they're gonna critique you in some particular type of way. And I understand that like, her way of doing it is just basically putting her head in the sand and just not looking at it. And that's fine. She can do that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that stuff's not there. I just As long as she's acknowledging it. And you know what's really interesting is, like, I feel like a lot of these reaction channels or a lot of the people saying the stuff about Foodie Beauty, does she just, like, not deem any of that stuff as actual valid criticism? Or does she just throw it all out of the window and just go, like, none, nah, all of this is just hate. All of this is just drama. All of this is just, like, people just want to hate me for no other reason than just to hate me. Like, does she honestly believe that people don't have their her best intentions in mind? Like, does she believe that people are not giving her valid criticism? Because that's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, to sit there and just throw everything under the bus because somebody said something mean about you like i understand it it's probably very very concerning just look down the comment section and see all those terrible disgusting comments but like dude maybe some of them have value right and actually look into them a little bit more than just like no i'm just gonna block that person make fun of me all you want cool. you know it's your karma not mine <laughs> like you know i i really just want to go back to trying to just be positive myself and i think that's easier said than done especially for somebody like foodie beauty dude she literally had a video on her channel where she said that she was gonna go and she was going to from now on right her words not mine that she was gonna go down and she was gonna swim in the pool of her apartment building like every day or five times a week and she did that for a grand total of three days 
and she never went back. And that was a month ago, dude. She's never went back since then. So for somebody like Foodie Beauty, dude, her word means fucking nothing, dude. She goes back on that shit so obvious, so, so frequently that when she says this stuff, I bet in one week she's going to be making like on her, on her community tab, calling somebody else out or making a video, calling somebody else out and telling them that they're terrible, disgusting people or whatever, or like battling people in the comment sections. Like it's, it's, it's too easy for her. She feeds right into it. It's not going to be sustainable for her to sit here and say like, I'm not looking at it anymore. That's fucking ridiculous. Booty booty. Come on. Yeah. Live my life, you know? True. and focus on our goal focus your on your goal of eating whoppers bowls and stuff like that my goal for today i have to make this mac and cheese <laughs> that's crazy bro can you imagine having this kind of life your goal today is having macaroni and cheese man some people just got it made huh some people just live the easy life dude cooking macaroni and cheese as like the the sweatiest point of your day wow who some people would die for that okay well, no, I'm not kidding, actually. What is it, the craft? Dude, that's insane, dude. No way. I didn't watch this video, okay? I promise I didn't, dude. There's no way she pulled out that craft, dude. How long... Do you know how easy it is to make craft? It's literally cheese dust. It's not even real cheese, okay? You just boil water, put the noodles in, and you're good. That's the hardest step. And then you drain out the water, put the cheese in a little bit of milk. You're good. It may be all together five minutes, maybe ten minutes if you suck. But most of the shit is easy to do, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm excited. It's it's mac it's craft macaroni and cheese, dude. I don't even think like five year olds are not excited about that shit. Maybe do a grocery haul later. I gotta get cooking, so I gotta go and work on a menu. I feel like she needs to be a little bit more like I feel like Foodie Beauty needs to be a little bit more in it. Like when she makes the contest, she needs to put herself a little bit more in it, a little bit more energy, a little bit more. I want to make this stuff. I want to be happy while I do this stuff. I want to give to my community. I want to be the person that everybody says I'm not. I want to say that I'm a good person. And I smell good today, and I'm gonna put my groceries away, and Salah is gonna shit on my chest because guess what it's my world and i'm gonna make this content for you like i just want her more to do that stuff it's too easy for her to just low energy you know slouch over eat this fucking food rinse and repeat on a daily basis where's the energy where's the effort do more work stop making these like bit of these bullshit ass videos put some energy into this shit i know i said i was working on one but i want to then you have to go through the menu and buy all the ingredients and I have to or and I have to order Is she really complaining about like cooking food right now? Like I have to buy ingredients and put the ingredients together and that's like tough for her? Okay, foodie booty. You, you know, you just live in a different world, dude. You know that's like a hundred percent of the population, right? Like we all have to do that, right? Like you complaining about this is like Yeah. I just did that today when I made my breakfast. Eggs, toast, sausage, ingredients and stuff, seasoning powders onions like hey, i had to throw all that stuff together and make a food organize my cupboards and clean my fridge and yeah we all have to do that foodie booty you're, you're not special all this and that so i have a lot to do yes true. anyways guy e ease <laughs> um yeah i thank you guys you know for being my audience i love doing videos for you guys and eating well you need to actually show us that you enjoy doing these videos she's too so she's so low energy man so low energy but anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, helpful criticism. To let me know how you feel about this new setup. Uh, let me know what you think about the background. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of Star Wars toys, and I like my Star Wars toys. I really do. I, I love them. They're 3.75 inches, which is the smallest thing I own. And there's a coach over there, which has nothing in it. There's literally, like, a Pokeball in it, like, from Bur Burger King in the 90s. There's nothing in it. It's, I don't know. It's just like, do you guys think I'm rich because I have it? Like, there is literally nothing in it. Do you want to see? There's like literally nothing in it. But the point I'm making is, um, I want to know what you guys think about the Pokeball. Um, the new setup and how you feel about it and uh, all that helpful criticism and things like that. Please tell me I'm pretty too as well. This is a new shirt. I just bought it. It was $4, okay? Um, I don't usually wear yellow, so please tell me I look good in it. I need it, please. Hashtag Slay Queen Edges. But anyway, guys, uh, you're a beautiful person. Uh, I appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now as I desperately look around to tell you about something that you could say in the comment section, um, write down below straw in the comment section if you watch the video in its entirety. Then I'll know how much of an amazing, beautiful, spectacular, awesome, just in 
gorgeous, gorgeous person that you are, and you are a gorgeous person, a person that is beautiful and fantastic in so many ways that I can't even possibly comprehend because it is, it, um, the, the language itself doesn't exist in order to properly diagnose you as a person in terms of your beauty, but I will try. I tried, okay, what do you want? I'm sorry, it, it didn't come out accurately, but that's, that's, what, that's how I see you as a beautiful person. But anyway, guys, um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.